This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hey wavy babies, it's Ocean Sims and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ocean. Nice to meet you. I do Sims 4 Let's Plays, Creative Sims. Um, I joke a lot. We have a lot of fun here on the channel. have a nice little family that I like to call my wavy babies. And if you want to be a part of like a really positive, good vibes only type of squad, type of family, you know, definitely hit that red subscribe button and I hope you stay. I am beyond excited to start this Discover University LP you guys like i am so in love with the characters or the sims and i just this lp is going to be amazing and this pack is just amazing and it's guys we're gonna have so much fun okay so i just want to jump right into it right now i of course you know i had to start the lp off riding bikes because this is another form of transportation look we almost ran we ran a uh, judith ward over like what in the world um we are currently like riding up hills and everything in bright chester bright chester is a beautiful world it's based off of the uk europe vibes i believe the weather is also based off of that area as well which i find very amazing it's like a little cloudy day Day, a little heavy rain um, but the sun is slowly trying to peek out and that is why our main character here or our our baby boy that we will be following oh my god wait is someone waiting for me with fruitcake I'm going to have him get off his bike because it looks like the welcome wagon is here um, and I you know the first part of every LP is always a little bit chatty so be you have been warmed but we're not gonna do a lot of chatting I'm just gonna briefly explain the characters and everything like that and then we're gonna jump right into everything um, so I'm gonna invite our neighbors in uh, Felix is the character you are looking at right now or the sim i keep saying character because it feels like a show or something to me for some reason uh, this is felix boswell and he lives with his mom in this little uh townhouse type of shindig i kind of kept a lot of the stuff the same because i liked how bland it looked and you will you will understand why once i dig a little bit deeper uh so here is um felix's mother her wow. name is deborah and she is a loner <laughs> so she does not care that these people are in here right now she's really not trying to talk to anyone she loves to be alone felix is her rock and the only person that she can kind of tolerate um and she's a little bit gloomy she's under the weather sometimes and she has a very i don't know how to describe it she does fall into bouts of depression here and there and felix is always there for his mom and in a way they understand each other they're very very close and she's family oriented so she would do anything for him but, oh my gosh no felix felix get back in here and now he's showering in the rain um let me explain felix's character a little bit he is um ambitious he's very ambitious and he is a dance machine or so he thinks he is he um he, he's not that great of a dancer yet but i don't know what homeboy is doing right now but he is also an erratic sim whatever that means to you or whatever that means in the sims game he's erratic and so he has unexplainable emotions um he has little yeah, outbursts sometimes he talks to himself upon meeting him you might think he's a little bit awkward or well put together until you hear him speak and things like that he's just different and that's what i like to call him he's just different and the only person in the world that understands how different he is is deborah and that is why they are so close and why she just wants to protect him oh as you guys can see look at this schmoo 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 sometimes wild mad thoughts enter one's head this is one of those times so he just got sad out of nowhere and he i mean he can't help it he's gonna ask angela about her degree she seems very nice and friendly and so does lilith lilith actually seems pretty nice and friendly as well we're gonna ask him about their degree because he has been trying to get into college recently felix has learned that angela is majoring in art history at university of Rochester. Wow, that's amazing and lilith is majoring in villainy at boxberry institute felix like got away from everyone and went upstairs and he's talking to himself in the mirror he's trying to give himself a little boost of confidence and now he's fine so that's really good um but yeah so that's just uh, he, he's a little quirky um but i love him so much he has such a deep story to tell and i can't wait to tell it so basically my dude here felix he has already applied for some scholarships and we're praying and hoping that he gets 
some because we have we don't have it like that we do not have it like that at all we have 667 dollars um he has a couple of skills built up i wanted to kind of increase his logic skill before we actually applied for a university because i want to make sure that he gets into the university that he wants and get a distinguished degree in that and succeed he really wants to go to foxbury his mom on the other hand really wants him to go to brightchester she feels as if it's historical and they'll take care of him and they'll be patient with him whereas foxbury is too modern and it'll be another situation of when they were living in san Myshuno and the bustle and the hustle of everything and everyone around him freaked him out and she constantly had to come to his rescue because he couldn't handle it and truthfully he knows that and he wants to prove her wrong you know he he wants her to know like I'm, I'm normal I'm normal but and he is you know um, he's his own definition of normal so you know it's hard to tell someone that feels these feelings every day that oh you're different and he, he's tired of hearing that it's not a compliment anymore to him he's, he, he just wants to fit in we will of course dig deeper into their story and things like that but this is going to be a gameplay type of LP we need to finish college and everything we need to do those things so I am going to have Deborah. see Deborah doesn't really make that much money Deborah is currently a process server she's like bottom of the barrel making $15 an hour which isn't a lot in the sims world it really is not um, she needs to file a legal motion or research her current case so they're gonna go ahead and head to the library right now where he can also skill build let's cancel this welcome wagon because we don't need that so we are going to travel with Felix and we're gonna go ahead and head to the library so that he can build some skills and then she can also complete her work because we do not have enough money all right so we are at the library right now i'm going to go over here to the computers the library is pretty basic i saw a little simsy uh, renovate this library and i'm like dying for it because i'm like oh my gosh it just needs a little bit more help you know but it's actually really not that bad it's not a bad build at all so two things that are cool about this law career is that you can research your current case on the research computers um, these are strictly for research purposes only which i'm actually gonna have felix go to the other one here and research logic versus instinct a really want him to have amazing logic skill i want him to really be a thinker um deborah also can go to the regular computers in the game hit career and go to law career and attend disposition deposition file a legal motion or file court documents which she has to do this right after so i'm gonna have her do that which is super awesome so in this lp again we're gonna make sure he gets into university but you guys told me that you wanted to see him actually enrolling and so i do want to let you know that you want to make sure your sims are prepped for college this isn't one of those hacks where you can make a sim and throw them directly in college you actually have to wait for the process even enrolling in university takes a couple days which i'm dreading um, but it doesn't take that long so what i'm gonna do is have him at least get to logic level let's see five if that's possible and then i'll have him enroll in a university and hope for the best um, and if he doesn't he'll just choose some other degree and then we can always change it it's cool because you can research your universities apply for university and view your scholarships uh, check your applications and everything from the computer and also the mailbox but you can also do that from your phone as well so i'm gonna have him check his phone for his scholarship applications and see if he's heard any news on that because his mom is like hey you need to check up on those applications because we only have 667 dollars i don't make enough money to provide your education you know what i mean uh, so education for all and the right Chester resident scholarships are still pending awesome researching logic versus instinct has increased Felix's logic skill awesome it says well researched if knowledge is power then Felix is the most powerful sim of all look how well researched he is look <laughs> That is so cute and adorable. Oh yeah, I do want to note guys that this is a vanilla LP. This is a vanilla LP and I did that because for those of you who are expecting to buy this pack for the consoles or for those of you who, you know, your computer can't handle a lot of custom content and even for those of you who just are tired of overly custom contented LPs. I don't know because I have another LP that has a little bit of custom content in it. I just wanted you guys to um, be able to know that you can have fun and create intricate stories without anything. Um, this was a challenge for me. Trust me, it really was. Um, ooh, hold on. Does the humor and hijinks festival sound interesting to you? I hear their teas there are pretty crazy. I'm studying with my mom. Mm. <laughs> Not the right thing to say, Felix, but he's honest. He's like, I'm studying with my mom, so I actually can't right now. So he kind of turned down Angela and uh oh lilith is actually a loner too oh gosh that's kind of cool i like that 
you might get along with my mom because you both are loners. I think now what he's going to do is play a game of Sim Scuffle. I don't know what Sim Scuffle is, but it looks like a new game that got added with university. I didn't see anyone mention this on stream. I didn't see any of that, but I guess, it, look, I've never seen that before. So we're going to play some Sim Scuffle, Sim Shuffle. Oh, that should have been a dance, the Sim Scuffle. <laughs> She's like, now you know you cannot play that game without me so she's gonna like cut her work really quick and she's also gonna play the sim scuffle no seriously guys she has video gaming level two they love playing sim scuffle together i don't know what it is about this game but they it's just something that they do they come to the library and they both play sim scuffle together and everyone's mad at them because they're taking up this space in the library so um but i'm gonna let her play with him for uh play this game for a little bit and then file the legal motion and then head back home it is the next morning guys and felix is up early he's going to use the bathroom he woke up with the urge to let it loose so he's gonna go use the bathroom his mom is still sleeping so she's he's just gonna like you know walk quietly around the house that's probably why he was walking like that uh she can either work from home or go to work i'm just gonna have deborah go to work she's just gonna you know head out um sometimes she works from home sometimes she doesn't i want to check and see if my scholarships have went through or not i haven't gotten anything in the mail yet and i'm like getting anxious felix is a little anxious bot himself so he's gonna um check right now let's see what what are the results oh my goodness so we did awarded wow so felix scholarship status awarded education for all 500 dollars and the rochester resident um scholarships oh my gosh so he got two scholarships guys it's crazy because when i first played it actually came up as a like congratulations you got this but i guess when you check it it's a different reaction but like the last time i did it my sim danced uh when they actually checked for their scholarships through the mail so i guess it's different for everyone um being that he got those scholarships he's gonna go ahead and mail off his application for a university and his mom is asleep so she can't prove read his application so she's gonna freak out when she knows that he applied for university and she's so nervous felix's university application is on its way the university will look over the application and mail the results back sometime in the next few days uh, felix may also check his application status at any time on a computer or oh bye mom or he can actually check it via phone he can check his application status um he can also sit in on a skill class that actually would be cool if we had the money to do that being that his mom is off to work i think this is a great time for him to familiarize himself on the canvas i feel like that would be really really cool for him to like see where he would be so felix really wants to take a dip and most of the time people don't really uh swim in this body of water but felix does and he loves it he's super excited um he's like oh man it's finally warm it's actually a warm partially cloudy day Ooh, what's this unjust allegation Deborah's boss confronts her and starts yelling about a document being late. <gasps> This isn't the first time her hot headed boss has blamed her for something she didn't do. Deborah knows it'll blow over soon, but it's starting to get old. Should she ride out the storm or defend herself? Deborah's a little bit passive, not gonna lie. So she is going to let it go and just say, I'm so sorry, because maybe she did. Maybe she did you know send in a document late because she's always worried about felix she can barely remember what day of the week it is um everyone goes back to work but deborah is now suffering from a bit of a crisis of confidence oh she wishes she had stood up for herself and now wonders how long she'll be able to cut in the law profession if she can't even defend herself poor girl and she just started oh man and currently right now she's feeling tense a stressful work day oh man i feel so bad so currently his mom's going through it and he's just relaxing in a body of water the reason why i love that you guys wanted me to show you the enrolling process is because there's so much to do while you wait we can build our skills we can openly swim um, we can also visit the campuses and do other things we can sit in on a class if we need to um, there's other things that you can do besides being directly you know on the university as a student so it's really really cool that we're doing this as a first part so although he wants to go to Foxbury University, he's going to travel with Angela and Lilla to the University of Rochester since it's closer, and he's just gonna grab a bite to eat on their campus. Um, so let's go right, do we go here? Darby's Den. Hmm, I think this is where we could go. Oh my goodness, Felix, you're still in your, okay, he's still in this outfit. Let me let him 
went on some hot attire clothes. So he's like, oh, wow. So this is your campus? And they're like, yeah, here's our commons area. Please don't tell anyone you plan on going to Foxbury, though. Ugh, gross. Um, so apparently we can eat here. Um, lunch opens at 12 p.m. So we're just going to wait for that. We can definitely take a, a bite to eat or have a bite to eat here, which would be really awesome. But in the meantime, I guess what I'm going to do is have him also research on his uh, logic skill. She's like, hey, these computers go really slow, by the way. <laughs> Is it 12 o'clock yet? I'm hungry. I'm hungry, hungry. What can we get? Add a little spice. Oh no, we're not gonna do that yet. Ooh, I see ramen, pancakes, salad, avocado toast. Like, ooh, look at this spread. I don't know what I want. Uh, let's see, order food, fish tacos, tuna casserole, rice and bean burrito. Really, really? That is nothing up here right now. It's cool. We're gonna do a rice and bean burrito. I love that we're like in the comments area at a school that his mom wants us to go to, but we're not, probably not gonna go to this school. And um, it's just cool that we can still grab a bite to eat here for free. Oh wait, do we have to pay for it? Cause we're not a student. Oh, we do have to pay for it. But if you were a student, you wouldn't have to pay for it. Uh, I actually like that. I like that idea a lot. So, oh well, it's only $2. Here you go. Hopefully it's good and tasty. Thank you very much. Awesome. Look at that, quick $2 food. That's awesome that he just like had that. Oh my goodness, so I'm having him take a selfie right now because although he is not uh, enrolled in university yet, I still love the idea of him just capturing each moment because it's still an experience. Oh gosh, I love him so much. You guys don't understand when I was making him, I was like, oh my God, I love him. Oh, look at my inventory. I have my letters. Oh wow, so maybe when I open, okay, great. Now it actually gives me um that notification congratulations felix won the scholarship education for all look see i told you when they actually get the letters they bust out in a dance move which is really cool and they get a moodlet for it as you can see here it says rising cost of education make earning as you can see here it says sizable scholarship rising cost of education make earning scholarships more rewarding mm -hmm, i agree <laughs> look at angela coming in here she's like dude is he really sleeping in our commons area he is he sure is Ooh, look what I found. I found another food stall. Um, order food. What do they have here? Chocolate croissants, sweetbread scones, cinnamon rolls. And then what kind of drinks do they have? They have Bisserin, Ristretto, Matcha tea, coffee, Sejva coffee. Mm, I want to have some matcha tea. So we are also starting in the um, in the season of fall because I felt like, you know, since it's fall in real life, that it's only right to start the school year in the fall. Um, hi, can I have a matcha tea, please? Thank you very much. Wow, that's $7. This is expensive. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, and now I want to... Ooh, what's over here? Let's just explore. Whoa, is that the mascot? Can we take a selfie yes let's take a selfie with the mascot i didn't know you could do that i am a big fan of you dude i have watched all the games you know my mom really wants me to come to this school but i oh no don't mention anything about foxbury dude <laughs> look at him oh my goodness oh my goodness they are so cute <laughs> that is the cutest thing ever um he is going to high five and uh yeah just say hey let me get a high five. Oh, no high five okay all right, <laughs> that's kind of like mean. Um, can we introduce ourselves to you? That was mean. He didn't even want to high five me. I didn't even know he could reject me. Like, what kind of stuff is that? Ooh, people over here are studying. I wonder what they're doing. He's gonna sit here and uh, see what they're doing. Felix is not shy. Um, he's not a loner and he's not awkward in that sense. He will go up to people, but again, he just doesn't read situations that well. Um, nice talking with you. Oh, there goes that girl from the trailer. Let's freely introduce ourselves to her. Um, look, he like cut a mean laugh. Like, hold on, wait, wait, don't go anywhere. Hi, <laughs> do I know you from somewhere? <laughs> no, oh, okay. Um, let me try this again. Come on, Felix. She probably didn't hear that you said hi. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, hi. Aw. Look at her talking to him. Let me see. Get to know. I want to see her face. Oh, she's pretty. Oh, wow. Wow, she's so... Oh, my gosh. She's so gorgeous. She's so pretty. Jesus. Ooh, she is gorgeous. Um, Let's see. Ask about... Uh, ask to hang out. I know. It's so awkward. We just met. Hey, are you doing anything? Felix is so lonely. <laughs> he doesn't have his mom, so he's like, you want to hang out? I guess... guess not. Okay. Okay, nice meeting you. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor guy. 
Well, guys, I guess it's just my luck, but look at Vlad right now. He's currently outside of our home in Wrightchester. I guess he could not wait to bite our necks off. Uh, hopefully, I locked the door. Did I? Please tell me. I locked it. I did. I locked it. So he can't come in, right? He was totally planning on doing so, though. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and end the part here so that we can start fresh. Oh, my gosh, Vlad, go away. Vlad finally disappeared, guys, after like 16 minutes. Yeah, he thought I was stupid, but I am seasoned, honey. I know to lock my doors at night okay um plus deborah is like super self-conscious and doesn't trust anyone and yeah she keeps the doors locked honey deborah and uh felix <laughs> i have to remember their names since they're new sims to me they're currently sleeping so i'm just gonna go ahead and let them sleep so that we can start fresh in the morning um you know and hopefully by that time we will also already be accepted into university and we can get a move on i hope you guys enjoyed this first episode just look at how beautiful this world is like oh my gosh i love it so much it's so pretty even at night i love all the street lights this would be the perfect place to propose to someone mm -hmm. wink wink i'm giving y'all some ideas right here um i love this world so much even at night so i am going to oh my goodness felix stop walking in on your mom so we're gonna catch up with them on another day and hopefully by that time felix will be accepted into a university and yeah we can go from there so thank you so much guys for watching i hope you like what you saw and if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video just keep simming always 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 stay wavy and yeah all right peace out everything's coming loose at the I'd be lying if I said that I was doing fine